Y'all ever ha heard of the, uh, I think the company is uh, Charles Schwab. It's a very, very successful insurance company. I mean, they write millions and billions of dollars of insurance policies. And their former CEO is a guy named Walt Bettinger. And Walt Bettinger was in college. This is a true story to the T. Walt Bettinger had a 4.0 grade point average in business. And he was on one of his senior level courses for business, ready to get out of college and move on to his master's in business. And he had a couple of finals left. 4.0 grade point average now. Okay. Studied his tail off for this final. He walks into the classroom, and it's one of these big, huge auditoriums. Y'all will get it when you get to college, okay? You're not going to go to class with 30 people, okay? A lot of your classes are going to be 150 people. He walks in, sits down. The professor comes in the room. He's got a stack of blank paper in his hand. The professor says, ladies and gentlemen, in this last semester, one of your final courses here in business, I have tried to teach you everything that I know about business. And so now here's your final exam. He passed everybody a single blank sheet of paper. And everybody's going, what the heck? Okay. He says, ladies and gentlemen, here's your final exam. You get it right, you pass, you miss it, you fail. What is the name of the cleaning lady in our business building? Walt goes, wow, I passed this lady a hundred times, might have spoken, but she works her tail off keeping this building clean, and not one time did I ever introduce myself to her, thank her for the work, find out what her name was, got her a little Christmas present, anything. I've been in this building for four years, and he failed the exam, wrecked his 4.0 grade point out. Now, of course, he still passed the course and, and, and did fine. He was the CEO of Charles Schwab. But he said that was one of the most valuable lessons that I ever learned in business and in life is how you treat other people. Golden rule. Okay. So that's a great story. Remember that as you reflect on. I, I call them daily boosts. I try to do something nice for somebody every single day. Some days the opportunity does not present itself. Last story, and I'll stop. My granddaughter, Myla. Does anybody know Myla? This Wally knows Myla. Hair all over the place. You know, she, this child, they broke the mold and they made this child. Okay? And she and I were at Walmart. <clears throat> this was back during snowbird season. And we're holding hands. I had to go get a couple things at Walmart. And I was babysitting her. And we're walking up to Walmart. And not once but twice were elderly snowbird ladies that were just struggling getting their groceries in the trunk of their car. Not two, two times, not once. And of course, both times I stopped and said, ma'am, can I help you uh, with your groceries? Oh, you, that is so nice. Thank you so much. And I helped the ladies load their groceries into their, their trunks of their cars with the Wisconsin and the Michigan tags on them. You know, the ones that drive too slow in the fast lane. <laughs> so thankful, both of them. And so we were walking, we were almost up to Walmart, and Mila says, Big Daddy, that was so nice of you. She's, she's five. And I said, well, thank you, Mila. I said, you know, I think that's how we ought to live our life. You know, we should try to do something nice for somebody every single day. And here was Mila's response. She said, you did, and you're old, too. <laughs> <laughs> so much for adding value to Mila. But, now, she got it. She knew but, she, you know, the kids say anything, right? <laughs> so uh, do something every day to help somebody along the way, okay? Be a player, not a pretender, and I, and I know y'all will. Thank you for your time today, and I appreciate it.